I just launched my first app for the Apple Vision Pro called Twin. Twin is for creating 3D models of your stuff that you can then use in Vision OS for productivity, personalization, decoration, or visualization purposes. You can scan stuff around your house, things you use for work, or things you find. Before I walk you through the app, let me jump to my favorite part of Twin, remixing. So I'll pull out this wooden robot here and I'll put a bubblegum filter on him. You can see that it changes the texture of the 3D model in real time. I'm Paul Godzilla, and let's do, you can see what Godzilla look like made out of gold or inverted colors, but let's leave Daydream, which is an animated texture. I'll come back to that in a second. And show one of the last filters I've got in this version. Let's pull out some flowers and put Bitsy. You can see that this is another animated texture that affects the what the 3D model looks like in real time, and it's animated. and I think this is really powerful. You can see Daydream working on Godzilla here. This is something that will let people create new versions or variants or colorways or modify, personalize, augment the things that they have, things in their world, things they own, things in their space, and bring them into spatial computing, augmented reality, and view them in ways that are brand new or impossible in the real world. And they can do it quickly, easily, and cheaply. Now, let me take a step back and show you why I started working on Twin. I like working in these Vision OS environments and here like top of a peak in Hawaii I can see the Vision OS screen. I can see my hands but I can't see the keyboard in front of me. Twin can help with that. So if I open up the iOS version of Twin I'll tap to create a new model and then it can use photogrammetry to create a 3D model of stuff in my world, stuff that I own. It can take up to 200 pictures to create the model. You can get it from different angles, flip it over, uh, get the underside texture, but let's just do the absolute minimum so you get an idea and take the bare minimum 10 pictures from a few different angles and get it creating the model. So it's not gonna be perfect. It can do much better. There'll be some missing gaps, but this will give you an idea. So we got 10 pictures, I'll skip through some screens there about flipping it over and you can see that my iPhone is working on making that 3D model. And since I signed into the same Apple ID in the Vision OS version of Twin up here and the iOS version of Twin, once the 3D model is created, it will be synced automatically to my Vision Pro. You can see that that's how long it took. Not too long to create a 3D model. You can spin it around and photogrammetry will work as long as the item fits in the four foot cube. It's not too shiny. It's not transparent. And there we go. A few moments later, the model is synced to my Vision Pro and we can pull it out into the real world. Yeah, looks pretty good. I can place it over my keyboard and now when I go fully immersed in an environment, I can still see my keyboard and get stuff done. This is Twin. It's on the App Store now.